Sei pronta? No, per niente. Ciao mamma, <laughs> sono arrivata. Oh, come sei grande. It's the story of um, a family that comes together <laughs> over a, an event in the, in the life of the family. It's a funeral. Everybody, all the old uh, resentments and jokes are revived, and like most family reunions. I play Violet. Who are you? The matriarch of this family. Well, this is my fiancé, Steve. You met him at the church? To bring a date to your father's funeral. I know the poetry was good, but I really wouldn't have considered it date material. Karen is one of these women that lives for finding the man. Well, I don't really see that happening, do you, Steve? But I think she also flits about from one thing to another, and it's what makes her kind of colorful. You ever been married before? Yes, ma'am, I have. That's more than once? Three times, actually. This is a before. unique, really um, complex layering of relationships and reasonings. It's nice to play somebody at the bottom, have them sink lower, and then try to fight your way back to the surface. You can't remember anything unusual. She's a woman who is uh, disappointed by life and takes it out pretty much on everyone else. You don't want her here? Well, I have an Indian in my house. You have a problem with Indians, Violet? I'm Julia Roberts' husband. Well, Barbara's husband, really. And they're separated. Um, but nobody, but they, nobody's supposed to know. Obviously, their daughter, played by Abigail Breslin. But when we arrive into the story, um, we assume that none of the other family members know that we've split up. Well, there's a lot of really funny stuff in the play. I don't know what to say to an Indian. They're called Native Americans, Mom. Who makes that decision? It's what they like to be called. They aren't any more native than me. In fact, they are. What's wrong with Indians? Why can't you just call people what they want to be called? Let's just call the dinosaurs Native Americans while we're at it. <laughs> there's a lot of laughter in the piece, and I think one of the things that, that really attracted me to it was that it was flat out funny. Uh, even in its darkest moments, it's funny. In the way in which we deal with as families um, and as people, we deal with difficulties in our lives, not by <clears throat> um, you know, pulling out handkerchiefs and crying, and, and uh, although that sometimes happens, it's, it's about how we laugh, it's about the jokes we make, it's about the way that we try to reinforce that we're uh, happy to be alive. You know, it's the way we cope. We've all lived through holiday dinners or, or <laughs> other sorts of obligatory gatherings like that where stuff comes up and everybody has a different feeling about it. Everybody's heard it before and they go, oh, no, oh, God, no, don't do it. Il matrimonio è difficile. Papà con mamma è stato bravo a farlo durare. Karen, papà si è suicidato.